How's it going everybody and we are back with another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Today we're going to kick things off with a treasure map that I just bought from Miller Peshek. Treasure map 12. Um, and we're hot on the trail. Let's give you an idea of where we are for this. Uh, as you can see over here we have the Ratai Mill. Here is Ratai, the lower and upper gates. Uh, the bathhouses. We are just down the road off the trail. And um... We need to come back down through here. And somewhere over here, there's like a house. Now I can show you the map, just so you see what we are working with. Like you see Rite over there to the left, and you come down the river and then off the beaten path a bit. And there's uh, apparently some treasure just to the left of a little settlement there. Um, we have just found this, which I believe is that first little thing on the map we saw. Um like a, an old settlement of some sorts. Let's keep going up this path here. I don't know how far back we gotta go. Are we getting out of range? Not really. About a little bit farther. I think we might be too far here. I just want to see what's around that corner. Yeah. Back here somewhere. It says there's like a house on the map. It doesn't quite meet with that river. Oh, what is this? For a second I thought I saw a house there. Is this the treasure? Feel that. Take all that. Is this the treasure though? It looks like it would be, right? I mean, we kind of are in the right location. 
And those sacks are what the other, what we found the other treasure, and that's what they look like. See the 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 Kumineer is what we're looking for. That actually, uh, we can get money for that. Let's just take a look at this map one more time. So off the beaten trail and over to the right. Yeah, I would say that this was our treasure. Wasn't a crazy treasure, but I don't expect all treasures to be of the same caliber. Besides, we can that that Kumineer is basically um, basically Groshin because we can turn those in for coin, I believe. Okay, who do we turn those into? Uh, Sir Robard. Where exactly is he? Well, I guess we'll have to do that a bit later. Um, right now, let's continue with the main quest. Uh, this is going to involve, on the scent, um, track down Riki. So let's head... Uh, that Ledechko? Yes. Fast travel there. We'll see if we can't track this dude down. I'll, uh, I'll have to find that other guy in between episodes. Okay. So now I think we might just have to like start asking around. Jesus Christ. I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Do you know him? You mean Hinek? He's the Tanner's son, isn't he? Any idea where I could find him? I don't know. Try at his folks' house, but he doesn't spend much time there. So you know this Hinek? Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? Well, no one with a nose likes spending too much time around Tanners. And that Riki keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. What can you tell me about the old courier? He's as cantankerous as a hog in a thorn bush. He won't talk to anyone. Why do they call Hinek Riki anyway? He's a Tanner, isn't he? If you're ever downwind of him, you'll understand. Tanning isn't a trade for the weakest stomach. True enough. But not every courier gets cursed with a name like that. Well, in X nature's no sweeter than his smell. Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm, well, like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory and retired for thieving. And in Noyoff, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits. Just so. We're all honest folk here, and we've no use for the likes of him. I'll never scare these things out. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. Okay, so now we have a lead. So, 
Talk to Riki's father. Let's go and do the bathhouse first because it's close. That would be C. I need a word with you. I heard you've been seeing Hinek, the Tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a sinner, that I seduce decent men? God, no, nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. Aye, I've seen him often enough, but I don't know what I could tell you about him. Where can I find Hinek? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? From time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? I... I don't know. Look, Hinek's my friend and I really need to know where he is and what he's doing. But I already told you I don't know where he's got to. But so you know, he just goes tell to me. To pick mushrooms, does he? Mushrooms, no. More like hares or other game. So Hinnick is a poacher. That's no surprise. Well, he was never much of one for an honest trade. Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some favourite spot he might have told you about. He said he has some hideout in the woods, but he didn't tell me where. I need to know more about that hideout. I really don't know where it is. I only know when he came back, he usually came to see me. I see. How did you know he'd been to the woods? He always talked about what he caught, and he never came to me at other times. Probably didn't have the money for it. Do you know who he sold it to? He never told me straight up. But who could he sell it to? The innkeeper, I reckon. It makes sense. For sure. Do you know what route he took? At least the general direction. Anything that could help me find his hideout. I think he usually went through the woodcutter's camp. Because he always brought me freshly chopped firewood and he had wood chips on his boots. Good. So at least I know where to start. When did you last see him? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening, drunk. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came to me sober. So he was acting strangely that evening? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something, he keeps prattling on and didn't seem to care about, you know what. So I threw him out and hey, I haven't seen him since. Watch it. No. Can you remember anything he said that evening? Oh, I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosch who died. That he was regretting he ever got into it. But he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye. And then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. I see. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me and we could get married and such. All just poppycock. Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his father's small holding in the western corner. All right, thank you. Did you go there for a look? No, I've got better things to do. 
Obviously he made it up. Where would a layabout like him get so much coin? Yes, I understand. Is it true? What? Other whores wouldn't go with him even for money. The other bathhouse girls are honest, so I don't know. The truth is, I felt a bit sorry for him. Folk don't like him, but it's only cause his old man is a grouch and a tanner. So you only felt sorry for him? Both of us are the black sheep of the village. There's nothing more between you? No. Nothing. Maybe Hinek thinks differently, but that's how it goes. Is it true? What? Other whores were... The other bar... I heard they don't like him because he keeps company with villains. True enough. But they didn't like him before that either. Or me. They're close-minded yokels. Both of us are the black sheep of the village. There's nothing more between you. No. Okay, I just what wanted to get it? all the uh, avenues of dialogue there. Um, I heard there's some money stash somewhere, and I don't know about y'all, but I'm down for some cash. Uh, so now... Let's... Let's do B and C, and then we can do D. Because, uh, D is the, is the coin. If there's any, like I said, or like she said, it isn't real, so there might be a chance. Can you tell me about this, Hinek? What can I tell you? Nope, he's none too popular. No one cares to talk to him. Why not? Well, I'm not one to gossip, but I heard he keeps bad company. What's the tanner like, Hinek's father? The less I see of him, the better. He's not exactly sparkling company. Why do they call him Riki anyway? Why do you think? Because he's a tanner, of course. So why don't people like him? The old tanner's not an easy man. But a son should never let his father down. He Did I already do and all there's these no one at all talk to That harlot, Adela. Harlot? She works as a bathhouse. Oh, here's the key. What else you, sir? What's happening around here? Ah, you know how it is. Always something. Like that sake, has started an archery contest here. If you want to try your luck at winning a few Grushin, you should go and see him. And there's more. Now I think of it. I've not seen Kunhuta here for some time. The local herb woman. She always comes here once a week for a tankard of ale. 
but she ain't turned up recently. Well, nothing's happened to her, and that's not all. Especially at the mill, not a week goes by without some ruckus there. But I'm wise to them troublemakers. Whenever they're planning some mischief, they're always huddled there in the corner, hatching their plots. Like yesterday, for instance. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. Then ask someone else. I have nothing to do with Riki. He'd only drive my customers away. Huh. Really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinek's. He's gone missing and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. About the goods Riki owes you. What about it? Well, supposing I settle the account for him and you stop dodging my questions and tell me what I want to know. Hmm. I suppose that would be all right. How much is it? Before he vanished, I paid him in advance for five hairs. Well, we can settle things right away. As it happens, I have some game with me. Let's see it, then. Have you got it or not? I've got that game for you. Splendid. Have you got it or not? I have to catch five rabbits for this dude. Alright, let's go find, uh... Go look at this other one. Let's go to B. We'll go talk to his father, and then... Hmm. I really need those five hairs. I will uh, have to get those. Probably in between episodes, just so it doesn't take seven years. I'm at your service. I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Have you ever heard of him? Sure. Why wouldn't I? That's what they call my son, Hinek. Ah. You wouldn't happen to know where he is, would you? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? Do you at least know any friends he's with, or someone he goes to see? As far as I know, nobody here in the village talks to him. I heard he's seeing some bathhouse wench. Maybe. He can't get it for free, so I suppose he has to go to the baths. Your son is about to get into deep shit. I'm trying to find him so I can warn him. That's nothing new. He's always up to his ears, innit? 
But this time his neck's on the block. He got mixed up with some very dangerous people. I have to find him. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on, but it's better than nothing. Thank you. Don't you have any clue at all where his hideout could be? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there, is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away? I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. All right. I'll ask at the inn, then. Already dead. What more do you know? Nothing! I swear to God Almighty, I've said all I know. Hinnick never told me nothing. Bloody hell. Start using your head or I'll never find Hinnick. How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How did he look when he came back? Anything? Well, he came and went at all sorts of hours. I really don't know. Uh, except maybe one thing. He'd come home scratched with brambles and with leaves and muck on him. So he probably went through thick woods to get to that place. I reckon. What do I know? All right. So now, kind of want to find his stash. It's somewhere, somewhere on this farm. Who's there? What are you doing there? What's going on there? Shut up. I wonder if it's in this box. Don't want to get caught lockpicking. What are you doing there? Hey! Go away, dude. Back to your tanning. Hmm? Hey, Trying to lockpick this lock. I just don't want to pass till night. No sign of anyone. Got no way on. Right.
That was not his stash. Thought it might have been. Maybe it's in the house. Try that. Because we can't go in here, right? Yeah. Can't go in there. On here somewhere. To get in your house, dude. Is something the matter. Trying to get in your house. What is Trying it? Trying to get in that house. Can you just go away? Hey? Go away, dude. I'm trying to. Trying to. Is it? Trying to take stuff from you. I'm at your service. Is something troubling you? I wouldn't say it's troubling me exactly, my boy, but I've heard talk about the Susso blacksmith and I'm losing sleep over. What talk might that be? They say they've heard him chanting when he tempers steel, and that nothing of his ever breaks. Using spells to strengthen steel? That sounds like old wives' tales to me. That's what they say. They say he's always muttering something, and if anyone catches him at it, he stops at once and gives them dirty looks. Maybe he's just praying. Well, he's getting help of some sort, whether it's prayers or something less holy. Well, if it's troubling you, go and have a look for yourself. Easy for you to say. I have too much work to do. And anyway, I can't just turn up asking questions. He wouldn't tell me anything. And uh, how could I help with that? Simple enough. Go there and find out if there's any grain of truth in it. I suppose asking costs nothing. Just don't ask him outright about any sorcery. Don't worry, I'm not that daft. Good, good. And don't worry, you won't be the poorer for it. Once you find out what's what, I'll find a way to recompense you. All right. I'll... Good. But be subtle. What does he got? He hasn't really got much. About repairs, dude. What? What the fuck are you doing? Keep your sticky fingers to yourself. Leave! I didn't mean to pickpocket him. God. Come here quick. There's a thief over there. Did I tell you about my I see wife a thief. God. God! I didn't mean to pickpocket him. God! Come here quick! There's a thief over there! My God! Damn it! Alarm! God! Oh, I guess I can go take your stuff now. I guess pickpocketing isn't as bad of an offense as murder, right? Now I can lockpick this. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I'll just take all that. See if I can do this one. So it just fails immediately. Let's just, uh, why is this one more? I just wanna want to move some of that. Move these. God. Hey, who's there? What's that? God, come here quick. Hey. There's a thief over hey. there. Oh. Surrender. You'll have to answer for your law breaking. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Ah. I surrender to no man. Okay. What do I have to do next? I'm not trying to... I really just don't care about this guy right now. Um... I think I'm gonna go ask the woodcutters next. <clears throat> Alright, so in the next episode... In the next episode, we will uh, continue on with trying to find Riki by going to the woodcutters camp. Um, so until then guys, hope you've enjoyed and we'll be back very soon with another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance.